we have a few last hot days left i'm going to use that to make some sun fermented pickles First I'm going to wash them well and after that I'm going to cut both ends. And I cut off a big part because the end can be bitter so that way I can avoid to ruin the whole batch. So I cut them into a unique way where it stays together but the fermentation can go into all the areas. I'm going to need some garlic and some dill if you have fresh dill it's even better but i don't have any so i'm just going to use my dried one and i love this little gadget to peel the garlic it works very well I pack the jars very tightly and then I'm adding the spices, the garlic and the dill and then I'm going to pour over some water that is not boiling hot but it's warm enough to start the fermentation and I'm going to cover that with some bread slices and I'm going to use a gluten free bread. The yeast in the bread and the sunshine that will warm it up will make the fermentation and for the night I will bring it in but during the day it will be on the sunshine. Around all these people will try to be someone better than you and I for pictures but nobody listens to anything that you have to say can we just leave and walk away walk away When I have a busy day, when I have to do a lot of errands and appointments, I like to focus on two things to get done. One is laundry, the other one would be the food, which comes with cleaning up with the kitchen as well. But I can clean as I cook, I can cook as I clean. And so that's what I'm going to work on now. I'm going to just clean up the island and cleaning out the sink. It's like a I rarely, but if I have a lonely fruit that is being pushed around and around in the refrigerator and they look kind of sad, I'm just going to put it into the breakfast bar that I like to prepare. It's a, it is gluten free and dairy free. And since everybody else likes sweets in the morning, but I don't, I'm going to make a very quick soup for myself. And this brown broth packages are amazing. I bought them at grocery outlet and I can just create soups very fast with them. Every part of me Cause we're in the 
us together now You and me together now What's the point? There are times when we have busier schedule and that cause more stress. So on days like that, I like to focus on creating food that I know that we love to eat and it will keep us nourished. Another thing that is important around this time is having enough sleep. So make sure we go to bed in time. Seriously, carrots are so underrated. They don't really have a, such a strong flavor when I use them, so I can use them in sweets. If I make a breakfast bar, it is excellent for juicing with some apples. Also, I can grind them up with some pepper and other vegetables to hide it in some ground meat. So that way I can add more vegetables to our meals. So I have this bold idea out of desperation so it is a hot day and I don't really want to have a huge mess in the kitchen as I'm frying this potato pancakes so I just shoved them into this <laughs> waffle maker and the result I think it was okay it was really easy to work with although it was softer a little bit it wasn't as crispy as if i would have fried them and if you fry them it has more grease in there so if your stomach sensitive to that maybe you like this version better
add some things that didn't do well this year in my garden but this perilla leaves are just happy as they can be <laughs> so i have a lots of them and i like to keep on hand a few in the refrigerator and i love to use this as something that holds together the meat as i'm steaming them and it adds an additional flavor to it and it's easier to clean the steamer After a few hours I got home and I was starving so I was warming up this amazing food that, that we made over the weekend. <laughs> we had a bunch of friends over and we just cooked this paprika ash over the fire and that's what I'm going to put into that zucchini stew that I'm just warming up now. Now all I have to do is remove the bread from the top, separate the pickles and I like to strain the liquid and just put them into jars and put back the liquid on them and cover it and then it will stay fresh up to 6 months in the refrigerator. have a few plants that I desperately need to be replanted in a bigger pot and I was procrastinating because I only have one pot but as I started to do that task I realized I can actually figure out something to make it work One of the plants got the pot that I have 
and I don't want to put them into a huge pot because then the roots are going to develop faster than the top part just enough so they can develop a healthy root Once I replanted the first one, I realized the second pot that I pulled out the previous plant from, it will be the perfect size for my next plant. And again, I got lucky because that pot actually was the size that I needed to plant the one that I propagandated and it has nice roots now and hopefully it will stay alive <laughs> Usually I don't pour that much water on these plants, but since I repotted them, I added a little bit more water than usual. This drawer needs some decluttering and cleaning. I don't think I have cleaned this drawer since we put all these things in there which would mark um, a little bit over than a year. <laughs> so yeah, it's a much need needed cleaning and I'm going to just wash all those dividers and organizers. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Just like me, a little bit scared of heights. These organizers are from Marshalls and I really like them because they're kind of flexible so I can just squish them around a little bit so they can fit to a lot of places. The setup for the towels. I bought, I think it was two sets of Turkish towels. So they dry very, very fast. And I love the color because it doesn't show the dirt that easily. I mean, after all, two boys using this bathroom. <laughs> it dries very fast. They are smaller in size. When we had thicker and bigger hand towels, there was only one spot that got wet and dirty all the time and I still had to replace that. So now that I have a smaller one, we use it fully and once it's dirty or wet, I can just replace it because I have a lots of them since they are smaller. Well, since I cleaned out the drawer, I just going to wipe off the surfaces in this bathroom, replace the herbs that got old to a fresh one. The good part in cleaning the bathroom, there's an immediate result because most of the part is just a hard surface, which is easier to clean than the fabric. If you enjoy this content and if you want to see more just click on the screen where you can see the playlist with all the other videos that are similar topic to this thank you so much for watching until the end and i will see you guys soon bye it really makes me wonder